So I had plans to go to special restaurants that are very Boston specific but when you're traveling with family not everything is planned and so we're stuck eating here which is not so bad but learn how to be flexible when traveling with family. That's right and because I couldn't get to share my Boston recommendation during my trip with family I save that for you. Here are the top things to do in Boston. Boston is located in Massachusetts. It is one of the 13 colonies in the United States. As a result, it's packed with history, has a lot of US firsts and oldest here. For example, Boston is home to the first US chocolate factory, home to the oldest public park in the US, first American lighthouse, home to the first public beaches, has oldest road in the country, and much more. Another interesting fact about Boston is that it is a city with the top two schools in the world. That is Harvard University and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, aka MIT. Education is a top priority in this Red Sox city. One more thing. I found Boston to be very British. This region of the US is called New England after all. And you'll find many British sounding names in Boston and Massachusetts. Okay, without further ado, let's start with what you should see in Boston. Visit the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum, found by Isabella Gardner, a philanthropist and wealthy art collector. At this museum, you can find a stunning garden filled with sweet smelling fragrant flowers, night blooming cactuses, rooms with antiques and colorful ceilings. A couple of stairs to get to different layers of the museum. I believe that there were three floors here. Regal rooms filled with vibrant paintings, large well ventilated windows that could be in fact mini balconies, and much more. The vision of this museum, according to Isabella, is for education and enjoyment of the public forever. And nothing in the galleries are to be changed or sold from the collections in this museum. If you are a history nerd, then you'll love the Boston Tea Party Museum. The Boston Tea Party is a political protest that occurred in December 1773, where American colonists, frustrated by the imposition of taxes from the British, dumped 345 chests of tea imported from the British East India Company. This was the beginning of America fighting for its independence against British rule and tyrant, and it all happened here at the Griffin's Wharf in Boston, Massachusetts. For more information on the Boston Tea Party Museum, check my blog post in the comment section. Walk through quaint neighborhoods like Beacon Hill, Charles Street, and Akron Street. These neighborhoods have a reputation of red brick buildings, a term that you'll find in most of the city's brand names. That's because you'll see red bricks on the floor and the buildings. Did I mention how British Boston feels? So we are in Boston. Hi, hi, hi. Hello, if my brother is hiding. And um, it's very unique. It feels like we're not in the US. What do you think about Boston, guys? <laughs> you guys are horrible. They cannot speak. Yeah. They're too stunned for words, is what it is. Um, it's, um, it lacks diversity. Oh. <laughs> This is what we're not expecting from this video. <laughs> well, she's I keeping didn't want it real. A lot of people there, so but that's what I know. Besides that, it was cute to see modern functioning services enmeshed in historical beauty. Definitely go on the Freedom Trail tour. Another fun history activity. The Freedom Trail is a unique collection of museums, churches, meeting houses, burying grounds, parks, a ship, and historical markers that tell the story of the American Revolution. For more information about the Freedom Trail, check my blog post in the comments section. Do a Harvard tour. In my previous video, I shared some cool fun facts about Harvard University. Click the video on the top right corner to learn more. Walk or ride a bicycle and cycle the Charles River Esplanade. If you are on Harvard's campus, you'll also find the rowing team practicing on the river. Use the MBTA Boston Transit to get around the city. As always, I save the best for the last. What to eat? Here are some top Boston staples that you shouldn't miss. Boston is big on seafood, so try their lobsters, lobsters, anything really, lobster rolls. Boston clam chowder, steamed mussels, fish and chips, Boston cream pie, and cannolis. 
Bostonians, let me know if I'm missing anything. Stop by the Quincy Market, a popular food market to try some of the Boston delicacies mentioned earlier. I'd like to make a special shout out to Tate Bakery and Cafe, where I enjoyed a scrumptious breakfast and brunch. It was so delicious that I had to go back the second day. I mean, look at this deliciousness. Alright, that's all folks. For a more comprehensive list and detail on activities to do in Boston, check out my blog post. Also, find out how much this trip costs, all in the links down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Ciao. Hasta luego.